Coming in at number 9 is the colourful sea sponge. A humble sea sponge is a very simple organism with no true organs which makes its cloning ability even more amazing. The sponge forms what are known as gemmules, a protective casing housing a cluster of cells. When provided with a supply of food, the gemmules are moved to the surface of the sponge and ejected, whereby they create a new cloned sponge. Even more incredible, if a part of the sponge is broken off through an attack or injury, the broken part will continue to live, eventually forming a whole sponge that is an identical replica of the original. On to number 8 we have the aphid. Gardeners and growers alike will be well aware of this soft-bodied insect, which causes havoc to plants by sucking out the life-giving sap. A less known fact, however, is that they're also masters of cloning. One aphid can asexually reproduce throughout the whole year, creating up to 12 new aphids every day. In at number 7 is the mysterious jellyfish. Like much of nature, the jellyfish can be both deadly and beautiful. Their reproductive cycle is unusual in that they reproduce both sexually and asexually. The adults first release either sperm or eggs that are then fertilised in open water. The resulting young offspring then find a good spot and, depending on the species, either divide themselves in half through a process known as budding, creating an identical twin, or by splitting into a number of segments through strobiliation, with each segment creating an adult jellyfish. Moving on to number 6, we have the marbled crayfish, or marmacreb, the more commonly used German name. Scientists were shocked to discover these little critters reproduced without mating, the first crustacean of its kind that clones itself asexually, in a process known as parthenogenesis. The mighty boa constrictor holds position number 5. Again, shocking scientists when a female constrictor was witnessed giving birth to a litter of 22 snakes without a single trace of male DNA. Due to the mother being a mix of both female and male DNA, the offspring is thought of as half clones, despite looking identical to the mother, even down to a rare colour mutation. At number 4 is the whiptail lizard, known for its namesake tail that can grow to a whopping 30 centimetres. While some lizards reproduce asexually if necessary, some species of whiptail have no choice. These species carry twice as much DNA as others and pair two sets of female DNA to reproduce without mating. Similar to the boa constrictor, the resulting offspring are all women. Beginning the final three, we have the ghoul wasp, so called because it lays its eggs in plants or trees, forcing the plant to create a ghoul, essentially a protective shell around the egg, which keeps it safe until it's ready to enter the world. The eggs are created without the need for a male, leading to a clone of the mother. In second position is the Komodo dragon, the largest of the monitor lizards and an impressive animal. During 2006, two dragons held in captivity at London Zoo stunned biologists by giving birth to litters of pups. A male had never been present, a first in the recorded history of the lizard. Analysis showed that the offspring were not a perfect clone of the mother's, and that the mother had actually doubled its DNA to create the child. Top of the list is one of the most feared of sea creatures, the hammerhead shark. The historical discovery of asexual cloning in these sharks was made in 2001 by Irish and American researchers after one of the female hammerheads, kept in captivity at Henley Dawley Zoo in Omaha, gave birth to a live female pup without ever having mated with a male. After extensive testing, it was finally concluded in 2007 the pup had no trace of male DNA and was a perfect clone of the mother. So, that's it for our top 10.